Oh, goodness. Hello and welcome back, everyone. It has been a couple days since we have played some Battle Brothers, and I am happy to be back here with the Iron Band. Thank you so much for bearing with me as I kind of work through my, my work struggles. We had a little bit of a new release in the form of Kriegsfront Tactics Prologue. If you haven't seen that, please do go check it out. There's a bunch of really good reviews on it, and I really enjoyed it. It is a turn-based mech-based strategy game set in the alternate history version in the 1970s in the Southeast Asian War, put out by Toga Productions, which is an Indonesian de in in Indonesian? Yes, I think so. Developer. So, really cool stuff. In any case, let's go ahead and get back to our troops here. Now, a quick reminder of where I'm sitting. I have a bunch of crap. I have a bunch of crap, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of these, get rid of these. Probably don't need that. Can't salvage that. That's fine. Do we care about... No, we don't. We'll keep the... Actually, you know, we can probably sell that. Get rid of that. Uh, the Gambison we might keep. The apron let's get rid of. We do want to keep the Svihander, which is really good. Very excited about that. Keep you there. Give you back your cleaver. Dika the Dodge Barbarian. I don't really put, want to put the Svihander on you, right? Or maybe I do. Nope. No, definitely do not. Uh, so, who do we want to give it to? 33. Alias might do well with it. Hmm. Let's give it a shot. I mean, let's let's give it a shot. Why not? We have GNL ready to level up here, which we are going to give you some... HP, melee resistance, and why not? We'll give you that. At level 7... Song of Life restores four health to every ally within eight tiles, which is pretty darn awesome. Can only be used a, while a drum or loot is equipped. That's not going to happen here. Distant visions, insight into the town's events and buildings, unarmed lunge, muscularity, summon storm. Wow. Clarity, 10% of damage ignores armor, berserk, nimble. Mind over body. Spend less fatigue. Fatigue, excuse me. I said fatigue. Nice. Rebound. None of these really strike me as the most important thing, so I'm wondering if we might do something else instead. So maybe... Maybe we look at some of the other related things. So... Poison immunity or herb craft. Uh... Roots. Summon roots and vines to entangle your enemy. That sounds like a net and a half, which might be really, really nice. Scry the area. You know what? Let's go ahead and get roots. Summon roots and vines to entangle your enemy. That allows us fatigue and AP reduced while reigning and with staff mastery. Oh, nice. So we probably should get staff mastery, I suppose, because we have staff spins. Very interesting. All right, we also have a level up for Ricolda Eagle Eye, our crossbowman, which is not really crossbowman-y right now. <laughs> but still, that is our intention here. So we're going to go ahead and give you crossbow mastery. We do need a set of bolts here. Let's go ahead and set that apart. Still need the bolts. Hmm, I don't like it. You don't have bolts, do you? Nope. But you do have... Whoa, 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 hold on. An infantry two-handed axe. Hmm. Do I have an axeman? Do I have an axeman, actually? That might be something to consider. Deedka, did you not level up? Interesting. Um... Give you resolve here. Okay, no, you can't go here. You gotta go. All right, that's fine. Debilitate, resilient. Okay, not gonna work with how you're being built right now. Relentless might not be bad.
at all times. Initiative is reduced by only 50% of accumulated fatigue. I think that's probably okay. That'll improve the melee defense. But in any case, uh, all right, let's go ahead and take a look here. So we have Haunted Woods, which is a hunt. They say trees are up to it. Something about monsters made of wood and roots. Interesting. Stock crowns, 2630 here. Hunt down what kills people in the woods around Grunenbach. Okay, let's go ahead and think about this. If we do want to take this, we may actually have to take a look at axes here. So, uh, something like a bundle of throwing axes might be valuable. We also have several axes, um, hand axes, which could be incredibly valuable. The woodcutter's axe as well. And then if we ended up taking, you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. All right. Let's get axes here. So you're going to suffer for this, and I, I apologize, my friend. Let's give you a infantry axe. Let's give you... Let's see, how are you doing? Katherine, the roasted. You actually are going to be just fine. Well, actually, ooh, maybe not. Maybe we do want to keep you that. Do we have anyone that we want to keep? Hmm. It's a little bit difficult to work with this stuff. Bear with me here. Let's make sure you have equivalent equipment here. This could be a very bad idea. I don't actually know. We're going to figure it out, though. That is for darn sure. You probably need this heater shield. Uh, actually, you're already very, very low. So perhaps not, in fact. But let's go ahead and see what we can, what we're going to get here. Hunt down what kills people in the woods around Grunenbach. I see this. Shrats. Five of them. Oh. All right. Some shrats. We are prepared. However, I think we're going to run. Uh, let's... Because there is definitely, definitely someone that can support us in this endeavor. And this is my first time actually playing shrats in recent memory. So, rather than being stupid, I'm going to be safe about it. Because I'm not necessarily sure that we can actually handle five shrats. In fact, I'm fairly certain we're going to die <laughs> if we do. Especially given that this is my first time back in like just about a week, actually. I think I I did the mech engineer. I had some I was busy a little bit. We did the uh Krieg's front tactics video, and then we went from that. So Let's see. We'll get over here and then we'll just go ahead and retreat. Fairly easy to get away from these guys. They are somewhat slow, which is always nice. They're not fighting us real hard on this retreat, which is also very, very nice. All right, now, here's where you gotta bear with me. I actually do not know. I do not know. Um, all right. Come on, Shrats, ready? There we go. All right, we have some support. <laughs> Whether or not this support is going to be valuable, I don't know. Uh, let's take a look here. So, looks like they got some decent guys. Let's go ahead and wait. 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 Wait with these guys. That's fine. Probably should have given this to Nuclei, to be honest with you. But that is okay. I'm curious. Uh, let's see. Whoa, hold on. It takes 15. Okay. 15 is not so bad. Alright, so they have Purpling Strikes, Resilient, Composure, Poison Immunity, Pathfinder, and Stalwart. They're also shielded with Steel Brow and have a ton of HP, which we're uh, not surprised by. Let's be real. So, uh... Do we want to get Alias up here? Possibly we could use Indomitable. It's going to be tricky... But I think let's go ahead and 
move forward a little bit. Not too much, though. I'm really glad we read, or I read this first. This isn't going to do anything. Yeah, it did two or four damage total out of 608. Yeah, not happening. Not happening. I'm almost, I'm tempted to just, like, leave you guys be and then wait for that. Is there another one? No. We'll go ahead and wait. This will be tricky. Oh, yeah. We're just going to leave our leave our archers to uh, right now. Our axe throwers, though, we will wait. Figure out how these guys are going to be moving forward. There we are. All right, so this is going to be Rymond. So you do get Hate for Beasts, which is plus 5% melee skill. What is your... Eh, you're a little bit... I question this, but... We do hit the shield for 12, which is good. Let's get this done. I think we'll move you over here, Karedin. Let's figure out what we're going to do with you. You guys are probably going to attack this Shrat, which is excellent. Let's go ahead and shield wall this. I don't know if that's actually going to do anything, but hey, why not? Okay, I'll take it. Uh, what did that do? 10 damage, not terrible on the whole. Can we get over here and then just get a straight shot? Yes, we can. Yeah, again, not really that much. Did 9 damage, but it is enough, right? So we'll probably go ahead and hit that guy. So he's suffering from she uh, Swarm of Insects, which is good. We are going to try Root. I'm not sure how that will end up working, but... Give it a shot nonetheless. And we did destroy the shield. Excellent. So maybe what we do here... Let's take that. Yes, 57 damage. I'll take it. Now, what I'm unsure about, and this is just uh, me learning, so it does a normal amount of damage, or at least not a normal amount, but they do have a um, increased damage marker here. Let's get the dog out. Leave you be. So we'll have to, we are doing our best to keep these guys as spread out as possible and surrounding this guy. Perfect. Hopefully our allies will be able to protect us a little bit as we uh, do a little bit of damage here, there, and everywhere. Okay. Here we go. Another swarm of insects done. Only 15 fatigue for that one. Not terrible at all. Perfect. 43 damage. I'm wondering if we don't just back you up here. What is, okay, what is this? Split man has enough, uh, always hits both head and body for additional damage, but you only have, well, actually it doesn't, hits both head and body for additional damage. Yeah, so, I mean, that's actually really not bad, but Inflicts 50 to 70 hit points worth of damage versus 75 to 105. I think realistically, it's probably better to just chop twice. Call it good. We have a sapling here. Let's shield up on you, Catherlin, which brings you up to 53. So hopefully you can defend against this. Let's see what he does. Woo! Missed on everything. Which we're very excited about. Where to get you out of here? No reason to hit right now, as this guy is still shielded. I see where I'm doing wrong here. Uh, Karedin just took... Uh, up roots. And... Went straight through the armor. Hit the simple male shirt for 34 damage. I'm confused as to how... Maybe he was injured before the fight, and I'm just forgetting about it. Entirely possible. Entirely, entirely possible. But I think that we're good from that perspective. Give it a shot. There we go. Four damage. 
What's the worst that can happen, right? Don't answer that. All right, Shrat is dead. Excellent. Second Shrat. Down here? Uh, do we care? That's the real question. I think I'm gonna move here for use with these guys. All right, armed with shield. Not really gonna do much. 20 damage, that's, I mean, that's enough. The shield still works wonders for him, but we have the ability to do some damage. We get here, that's 19. We're gonna move over here. 79% chance, get that done. Get this one done at 86. Excellent. All right, Shrat is wavering. We do like that. Perfect. We're not going to really be able to do too much here. 10 and 11 damage. That's okay. And again, unfortunately, archers are not our friends in this case. We're going to hold off on you. I think you have how much more? You have three axes left. Let's leave that as is for now. Nuclei will keep... Probably keep you right here, I think. And let's start chunking down these guys. We do have a nice little defensive line. I would like to keep them as safe as possible. This guy can probably do the most damage because he can attack both the dog and this mercenary here, but... All in all, I'm not too disappointed. So we're going to focus down this guy, and then this is going to be the primary fear that I have, is how are we going to deal with that. Now, fortunately, it looks like they're not actually doing too much damage to us. Not sure what's, wh uh, you know, what that is all about, but hey, I will not complain. Let's get up here. The dog, oh, had a 50% chance, actually. We could potentially... Here, let's just move you up here, Deedka. You're currently running with a 27. It's not great. Not great at all. Hold on. Does... Does Catherine have rotation? She does not. Unfortunately. Okay, that's okay. And I don't... But the problem with that is that I don't really want to move around. So I think, in fact... We'll just start moving you up here. You have rotation. So... Here, let's leave you over here. Ooh, oh, that hurt. Karedin is not having a good day. 35% chance, and he's eating it. Alright, you, my friend... You gotta get out of here. <laughs> that is not a, a fun fun place to be. Let's be real. All right, Alf Gear, you're gonna move over. Okay. Nuclei is gonna be a little stuck here. He's not gonna be able to actually do a lot of that trat. Line of fire is blocked. So we'll leave that as is. Same over here. Let's just we're trying to keep our ranged units a little bit broken down. Or not broken down, excuse me, but uh, spread out. That's the more correct term. Let's get the swarm of insects on this one. I think I'm going to leave you because you're not going to do a ton of damage to that shrat. Although I am kind of annoyed that this guy ended up uh, taking that spot. That does reduce the amount of damage I can do to shield. Darn it. Okay. We'll leave it as is for now. So you are going to go here. And just do do some damage. 17 damage is not the best. It's not the worst. Uh, looks like... Hides anyone inside. So it looks like there is someone in there. We'll move you over here, DK. Try and keep that as stable as possible. We'll get our Axeman over here. Okay, dog died. That's okay. I am not as concerned about that as, uh, you know, normal.
I think let's actually move you over here. 80% chance to hit. We'll take it. Do a little bit of damage. It's not going to be a lot. Right, we, we know this. These axe throwers are going to be a little bit more beneficial to us. 14% chance to hit, though. Absolutely not worth it. I need to get the shots off on you. All right, Swarm of Insects. Perfect. We're going to rotate up here. Let's drop that. We'll move here. Shield up. Move down here just so that he can't, doesn't have a, a direct line of fire onto Kimosabe here. Kimosabe is, as, as we need to remember, a broken knee. Very, very low melee defense and range defense. So, as well as that, uh, he has very low body armor. I'd like to keep him in a good state. One thing that does appear to be missing is we may have lost a little bit of armor here as we move through. Starting to do a little bit of damage. Uh, let's split shield. And... That's going to do 24 damage in total, which is excellent. Karedin, just get out of here. Just get out of here. Not worth not worth you taking a, a big hit there. Let's see. How do we want to take advantage of this? Six, four damage. That's okay. Doesn't really matter that much. So it does look like, though, we're going to have to surround the Shrat. We did lose one of our Axemen. The entire mercenary company is hanging out down here, which is good. We're happy with that. Uh, kind of tempted just to leave you guys up on the hill here. And we'll move here. I'm really a little bit terrified of, of what's going to happen up here, though. I wonder if we could... Can we root up here? No, shoot, we cannot. Can we use that? No, we cannot, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and summon the warg. The warg's gonna go ahead and take a little bit of pressure off here. No problem with that. They're gonna take he's gonna he's gonna die here relatively shortly, but I'm still proud of what he's doing for the cause. I'm gonna move up here. Where are you? Let's go ahead and shield up, Adrian. Have to move forward a little bit. Deedka, shield up again. You could potentially not take any damage. It doesn't look like these guys actually have the ability to... Well, I mean, you could take damage from this rat, but... Better safe than sorry. Yeah, oh, that dog did not last long. Get out! Alright, and that guy is most definitely coming for us. And Catherine, with your... 38 shield. We're going to leave that be for now. Oh, I hit that. Uh, I didn't mean to do that, but there we are. This guy is suffering a little bit. These guys, I think they all have crippling strikes. Yeah, so they're very, very deadly here. Blocked by the shield. Oh, we got to get this guy out of here. We got to make sure that only one guy takes damage at a time. That's the reality of the situation. And we can't even risk nuclei. He only has five melee defense. Does have a fair bit of uh, resilience to him, but that's just not worth it at all. At all. I don't even know why we're using these guys. We need more. We need more capacity. Nine damage. That's something. Can't attack through the shot blocker. We can go here. 67% damage to 22 damage, which is excellent. Let's hit you with that. If we put you here, Jack, you have 90 HP. You're definitely going to be okay from one hit. Let's see how much armor piercing they have. I'm... I'm quite interested, actually. Ricolda is in a little bit of a bad situation. 
If we put him here, Ricold is going to take some damage. This is, this is a risky position to be in, honestly. All right, good enough. Good enough. Let's split shield on you. Shield is taking some damage, which is good. Would love to have a two-handed axe around here. But I don't have one. Okay, perfect. So you roll you had a five. Uh, I, I absolutely take that as a valuable, valuable lesson. But we're just gonna shield up here. Leave it as is. Okay, that. Oh my goodness! All right, Jack the Reaper, injured knee, stabbed guts, staggered, breaking. So it looks like these guys straight up just right. They do fifty percent armor piercing. That is absurd. I, why do I even have armor? Why do I even have armor? All right, you gotta get out of here. So you're out. We can switch you over to your, you know, your bow, but it's not really gonna do much to you, or for you, rather. Okay. Did the one damage to the shield, not great. We got some guy there. Don't know what. I'm curious. Does that... You know what, that's probably better here. If I move here, we'll be able to get over here in the next turn, and that would potentially give us an option here. So for right now, there's probably, there's none of these guys can attack, which is good. So we'll leave that as is. Let the fatigue recover. That is a mercenary. I think we'll just leave you as is. Let's break your shield. There we go. Shield is broken here. Shield is broken there. Redden, please leave. Ooh, they can go through that. Huh. They can go through uh, shot blockers. All right. Color me surprised. Just kind of shield up again. Let's see. We can do 83. And then what? Uh, oh, you're staggered. Oh, Jack, no. And you had an injured kneecap, which means that you can't move. Yep. Jack, I am very sorry. That is my mistake. That's not good. Hmm, I do not like this. Let's get out of here. Wait, did that guy get a new shield? He did. All right, you're gonna back up there. Not a fan of these guys, to tell you the truth. All right, we're gonna get out of there. Please leave. Thank you. job hitting him. Alright, so this guy acts in one turn. Let's go ahead and smash him up. As much as we can. 50 damage, I'll take it. Oh, and he just went that way. Huh. Alright. So you can just do normal damage now, which is excellent. So if we move here, you can take that shot. We move here, though. There we go! And the sapling is dead. That is going to be our key here, I think. So we absolutely can make use of our archers once we are in a good spot with them. So, for example, we can't do that, actually. Uh, can we attack this one? Potentially. Not if we attack Deedka. But we can try! 
All right, well, let's give it a shot. So, Wiker, or Wicker. I'm gonna move over here. Let us, who's gonna be the most dangerous? Probably you. Actually, okay, that didn't work. We've learned. Interesting, ooh, he may go that way. I like that. I'm gonna leave you as is. Definitely leaving you. Broke the shield. And you. I I don't know. We'll we'll just leave you as is for right now. Okay, excellent shot. Let's get a shield break on you. Perfect. That should be one more, and you're done. Uh, Raymond, now you have a grazed eye socket. You're staggered. Minus 50% initiative. That's okay. Steel brow and hate for beasts. So you're in a really, really good spot to do some damage for us. 32 damage, in fact. And... He regenerates his shield. All right. We can deal with this. Who died? Was it... Uh-oh. Has killed the caravan guard. All right, we're good with that. We do not care about the caravan guard. Happy with the result on this one. Don't want to get here. Ah, darn it. This is difficult, guys. Like that, though. Let's get these guys around the side here. Archers. Oh, no. Rickold is going to take a shot here. Perfect. So, I'm assuming that actually is a sapling. That's not good. Yep. All right. That is a sapling, but that's okay. We're good. Shrat taking some damage. Excellent. Let's go ahead and split shield on this guy. We'll drop him down. Perfect. Let's go. We're doing damage. I like to see it. All right, this guy no longer has a shield. Now, Ricolda, I, I'm not going to get Nuclei right here because Nuclei is probably going to die if we do that. Still can get three shots or three angles here. Might be worthwhile, though. 44% chance. And you hit Adrian. We're not, we're uh we're 0 for two this time. Okay, I think we're actually just gonna move you away. Yeah. So if we do that, let's just move you over. That hits you there. But we can get an 84 percent chance to do damage there, and you still hit my guy. What? What? Ha! Knock it off. 82% chance and he hit the person behind it. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. I mean, I have to admit. I have to admit. It is a little bit funny. All right, so. Uh, let's. Let's hit that one. Since I believe we should be able to actually kill that one at the end of the next turn here. We're going to move you over just a little bit. It's going to be kind of problematic here, but let's see. 100% chance, 30% or 30 damage. Yes, we can do it. Let's, oh, this is tricky. Okay, I want to get that sapling done. Can't do it. All right, one Shrat is down. So we can either do a split man attack, 15 fatigue or a chop. In this case, I think definitely the split man. 60 plus 25. 100% worthwhile. Now you are... Why are you wavering? I'm confused. But perhaps... Ah, darn it. So he regenerates. No big deal there. Let's try and get you around the side here. Let's get you out the back. Nuclei, can you help me out? Yes, you can. Absolutely. I knew there's a reason I kept you around. Other than the fact that you're play the player character, who cares? 
Uh, gain 10% ranged, uh, gain additional modifier that deals bonus damage based on the target's missing health, and 10% ranged weapons uh, when not fighting beasts. Well, we're fighting beasts, so who cares? Let's see, how much did you actually do? You did six damage? That is addition, that is over and above the four we're used to. So, I'm happy with it. Ditka is maxed out on fatigue here. I think we're going to keep moving over here so that we can potentially get a shot off here in the near future. Man, I'll tell you what, these AI have been an absolute lifesaver. I would not have been able to complete this without it. And I'll, I'll tell you what, this has been a long fight here. 35 in total, which is kind of crazy if you ask me. Okay, do I want to put that here? This is a little sketchy. Um, Adrian, I feel... Okay, Raymond is... Working with 31, what does... Adrian has 34, but is better overall. They both have hate for beasts. So this one... We're locked in. But... I'm fairly confident that we can do some stuff. So 15 fatigue for this one. How much damage do you do? 15 damage in total? Alright, you're gonna attack, but you're probably gonna attack over there, so maybe what we do is we just split. Do 24 damage. Yep, alright, fair enough, fair enough. We'll take it. We will absolutely take that. Leave you. Ah, tricky business, I'll tell you. Alright, so this guy's actually fairly low. We don't have any additional stuff to work with here. Down to 105. Shrat. See if that works. So these guys do appear to be getting very, very uh, over with the other stuff very quickly, which is not good. Oh man, Reap. Jack the Reaper, I'm very sorry. I feel bad. There we go. We can get this done. Oh, we can absolutely get this done. Please. I would love to, but I feel like this guy's going to get it. Dang it. Oh, well, that's the cost. That is the cost. All right. Down with his... Down with his giant shield... All right, it regrows it. That's fine. We're just gonna leave all our archers be. There's no real reason to use them right now. Tricky, tricky. Karedin, I can't even believe you're surviving, honestly. That's, that's more insane than anything else to me. So you can all go here, here. Yeah, so you, my friend, Ryman, need to get off things, so. It's okay. Tell you what, we're just gonna leave you be. Perhaps we convince him to go after this mercenary here? Nope. In fact, we don't. Man, these guys are tough. 14 damage, but they always, almost always perform an injury. Just tricky. I don't like that. Does he still have any injuries? No, not really. That's okay. Hopefully that'll last for at least one turn. I think we just leave you there. It's doing good damage. I mean, don't get me wrong, but we are kind of trapped between a rock and a hard place at this point, so... Um, unless one of the one of their guys dies, it's a little bit tricky to actually make that happen. Which I mean is not out of the question either, so that's something to consider. Do we care? Ugh. 
Let's do that. Alright, so now he's down to 46. Alright, I'm thinking we can definitely help this guy, or drop this guy at the end of the next turn. Keep the archers out of it as normal. This guy's currently on 22. Move over here, that's not going to help. Can't rotate, so your turn is done. Your turn is in three turns. Your turn is in eight turns. Six turns. Dang it! Ah! All right. Regardless, we got a piece of ancient wood. On the whole... Cancel. Wait, hold on. What are we deleting? Uh, that's... Wait, what? By continuing, you would delete the last one item in your stash. Let's not do that. Um, and say we did. How about, uh, we... Change that. Oh. Uh -huh. Trat felled, each draped against the rest of the forest foliage like brawlers resting against or between rounds. You walk up beneath one the roots of one and get a good look at it, but now it appears no different than any other tree around. The orders of the company take what trophies you can to show Gilbert the wise. And we kept our ancient wood. Excellent. Now, what I'm curious about, unfortunately, sadly, we did lose Jack the Reaper here. That is a very sad, sad time. But, sad times make for good memories. So, in any case, let us head back over to Grunenbach. Now, I am curious, is there another... Hold on. Next roster size at 1,800. We are currently at... 1500. Hopefully, this will take us up a fair bit here. 2630. And there's an orc war camp, which we certainly, most certainly, cannot afford to uh, take care of right now. But on the plus side, that absolutely takes care of a few other things for us. Now, one thing, this speedum actually might be very, very nice here. We do have the war fork, which is 40 to 60. This one is 55 to 75. It appears like generally a. a, a an improvement. So, we're gonna go ahead and do that. We are gonna have to change people out here as we move through, but I think honestly, I, I know this was like a really a, a one-time deal, but please bear with me as I say, I think that's gonna be all for today. I am very, very happy with the way that we handled the shrats in, in that we um, only lost one person. I, we fought five shrats. I don't know exactly how to fight shrats, and honestly, it worked out well. <laughs> it worked out very well. As far as I'm concerned. And uh, we can't do anything because I think you need more stuff for the uh, the Shrat Shield. But other than that, that's going to be all for today. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Sorry for the long wait. Welcome back. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.